Hi, welcome to my channel. So this is a follow-up video of a previous video I have created that is dealing with special characters. In that video, I have uh, touched how to deal with the special characters in the inbound integration with XSLD, outbound integration with XSLD, and how to you know remove the root cause itself using the custom reports. There was very good response for that video. But at the same time, I have uh, received some more questions on that. So uh, I thought that you know those questions, those answers are so obvious. You can give, just give a try, and then you'll get an answer. But uh, because uh, there were so many questions around that, I thought I'll create one more video. And then one thing I didn't mention in the previous video was something about regular expressions. So I thought I'll I'll just tell you a little bit about the regular expressions. If you want to exclude some more uh, special characters, for example, you don't want to treat all the special characters as uh, you know to be excluded. How can you remove that? You know that kind of things. So uh, let's get started. This is the uh, article for the video. So I'm going to add the video YouTube video as well here so that you can easily follow along. So why this? Um, you know why this? Uh, one more video on the same topic is uh, there was very good response as I've already mentioned and there were some questions coming along so uh, you know what what is the report definition uh, and then how can we exclude other kind of uh, you know special characters and all so I actually when I was creating the original video I was thinking that you know it's so obvious just add a filter and all but I thought Still, there are so many questions coming, so I thought I will clarify all these questions. So, in this video, I'm going to cover two topics. One is a custom report, you know, a report definition I'm going to show you. And all in the second one is how to add a different uh, special characters. So, let's just say in the email address, there, is, there should be at the rate and uh, dot, right? So, you don't want to replace those. Whereas in my original video, uh, you know, there was though even those was replaced as well, right? So you can easily change that you can easily update that So I'm going to cover these two topics and for those who are not familiar with a uh, previous video I have given link here. You can follow that First you can go through the video and article and then come to this video and then you can you can watch Okay, let's get started with our first topic. So this is the custom report uh, definition so you can add whatever the fields uh, you want to add generally the special editors will be in uh, first name last name and address and if you think any other place there are uh, special characters you can always add uh, this is the the columns in the columns tab whatever the fields you want to add you can add it doesn't matter the main logic is uh, sitting in the filter so um, so for example, this is like in the first name, we are checking if there are any special characters. In this case, I'm checking for tilde is a special character, right? So all I have to do is first name contains special characters tilde. You can enter that. And we are adding all conditions to all these conditions. And let's just say for, for here, I'm just checking only these two are special characters, tilde and pipe. I'm checking the first name right in these two lines last name in these two lines address in these two lines and uh, address line two in these two lines okay uh, so and of course we'll close a uh, closing bracket and then uh, you know obviously I have added worker because I, if sometimes I don't want to search for all the population let's just say the population is too much and I just want to make sure that there is no special characters in a specific uh, set I can always search like this. Okay. I don't want to go into the details, but the main logic is sitting here So this is how the output would be so if there are two two employees with a you know in the address They have special characters. This is how it would be like even if you are running for full population you will get only these two so generally I'll I'll send a uh, notification to business users directly without involving IT that way they can take care of that uh, because they'll have a generally they'll have more uh, access and they don't have to go through the audits and all these things and of course it is more expensive for organization it time is more expensive than our uh, than business users time right so 
uh, in that way it is so much efficient and i have given other uh, details why we need this kind of uh, audit reports and all in my first video anyways i'm not going to go there okay so and uh, i just want to mention one thing is in this case i have created a, a you know on worker business object but if you think you know you can you can create a, a you know using candidates business object or pre hired business object uh, that way you can uh, you know you can you know el eliminate the special characters even the person becomes the employee okay so that is about custom report so even like we are talking about the workday system but if you have people soft system you can always create an sql or if you have oracle apps or something the appropriate query you can you can write i'm not going to go into the details but the general logic even if it is in sql or anywhere the general logic is this so i just want to mention one thing this is not so sophisticated it looks like e for each and every field for each and every special characters you have to add a new row true this is not sophisticated i feel xslt is sophisticated but at the same time this is more easy to maintain we can we can uh, ask the business users to add a condition if you want without any approvals and all these things and this is easily understandable and easily maintainable and we can easily test it and all whereas if you deploy xslt you need experts and there is so much uh, you know approval chains and so much uh, audits and all these things so as an organization this is better to maintain in this way right so coming to the second topic that is uh, i've just taken x you know xml to text and that is for outbound integration the the main intention i want to show is for example in the email address i want to exclude i want to keep the at the rate and dot as well so i want the email address like this whereas if i my original logic uh, in my previous video right if i use this uh, you know original logic as it is even the at the rate and dot will be gone and the email id will like will come out like this this is not appropriate right so how can you change the logic right the logic is sitting between these two uh, square brackets and you can add whatever the special characters between these two so at the rate i have added and then dot i have added so what is this i just want to touch base and if you want to add any other uh, special characters you can keep adding at the end right after dot or like whatever just before the close back so i just want to touch base what is this what is this logic sitting here in between these two is that is called regular expression uh, regex so you can search in google you can get yourself a little bit familiarized uh, with the uh, access you know regex and maybe sometime in future i will create a dedicated video on that i'll i want to introduce you to the uh, regex and maybe i'll i'll try to show you some of the use cases where all it can be useful and all it will be very much useful especially if you are dealing with the data if you are trying to uh, you know there are so many so many applications to that regex is very beautiful um, logic i should say logic because it's not a programming language the regex is supported by so many programming languages right anywhere python c++ java you know javascript or whatever whatever sql and sql also you can write okay so uh, this is about um, the follow up i wanted to cover two topics so i hope this add some value to your life and i hope you are going to use this uh concepts in your regular day to day basis and all the best uh see you in next video bye